Okay, so this is a little video here on um, basically how Flowmaster style mufflers work. Now, Flowmaster mufflers, all right, have been around for a long time. All right, the story goes that back in the early 80s, this guy, Ray T. Flugger, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, basically, all right, you know, he was racing in California and all those racetracks started having all these new noise ordinances. They had to be really, really quiet. So most of the guys were putting uh, super traps on the back of their cars to try to quiet them down without having too much back pressure. He came across with his own idea, developed his own kind of box muffler, literally took steel plates, welded them together, and uh, made a suitcase muffler. And he took this muffler and uh, I believe actually put um, like a handle on it and would walk it to car shows and things to help demonstrate, demonstrate its, you know, the way it worked. Um, so basically, this what you have here on this um, right hand side over here is uh, similar to what the original all right, uh, Flowmaster looked like. Now there's all different um, versions of Flowmasters. You can actually go online and see a whole bunch of patents this gentleman made all right, with mufflers. Let me see if I can get the cap off my pen here. All right, basically, some of the different features that the, um, his drawings had was a unique dual, dual wall construction to try to cancel out resonances. Uh, actually, some of the designs had holes actually drilled in, all right, the center of the, the wedge assembly here, that I guess you could call almost like the splitter, all right, and that was designed so fuel wouldn't collect and burn up and blow up the muffler or have a way to pass through and vaporize. Um, uh, but basically, the, the principles of the Flowmaster, all right, like uh, what you see over here, all right, um, this is actually, all right, uh, very reminiscent of uh, the classic original 40 series Flowmaster. The way it works with Flowmasters is usually the bigger the number, the quieter the muffler you have, all right? So if you have a small muffler number, like a, like a 40 or a 10, it's going to be really, really loud. Most of their muffler designs are either uh, two or triple chamber designs. Um, the original 40 series, all right, is a dual chamber design. Basically, what happens here is that sound and exhaust goes in here. Some of it gets mixed up and hits here on this baffle, similar to like any old muffler. Um, a lot of it keeps on going straight through, all right, and as it goes straight through, what will happen is it will actually uh, get uh, separated by this, I guess, splitting assembly here, I you can call it that. And then it gets recollected here at the back. Now, sometimes the aerodynamic force is kind of forces it back in. All right. Other times you do have this collector here, which takes care of the rest. What you do is you're splitting up the sound waves. All right. Breaking them up and then recollecting them, causing them to cancel out when they basically recollect. All right. Um, since you're splitting the waves, one of the interesting features is that it's supposed to also, you know, in a sense, give you more area. Uh, for less exhaust gas because you're taking it and basically cutting it in half. The collector does a whole bunch here, uh, mixing up and, and you know canceling sound waves because they're all forced into this little partition here uh, as an exit. What you've done is you've taken the sound waves, uh, reshaped them, and then uh, basically uh, recollected them to make a whole new sound wave. Um, so the sound all right, kind of mixes around in this chamber and then exits out the hole in the back of the collector. And then exits out the back of the muffler. Maybe some sound waves might get scooped up in the back wall and muffled out, but that doesn't really do too much to change the noise. And that essentially is the dual chamber flow master, the original 40 series. Now, there's all different designs. Some of them have more, I guess, um, you could call them like wedges. All right. Um, and they, the, the, how basically uh, wide they are also has a lot to do with the sound that's produced and also the pattern. Narrow, wider, wider, or wide, narrower, narrower. All right. Are uh, different designs. Um, now you have the Super 44, all right, is a new Flowmaster muffler design, which has a, an interior wedge design, something similar to this. They're not as wide, I guess you could say more of an acute angle, which basically means a smaller um, angle, not like a, like a perfect 90 degree if you were to kind of tilt the camera and visualize it. All right, so since there's less, uh, you know, getting in the middle of the sound, it's more of like a straight pipe. And because there's also less area being taken up uh, by uh, these baffle type things all right it tends to be a little bit deeper all right um some of the other interesting little features here is something's like a this is similar to me like a 50 or 60 series flow master you have some sound all right that gets scooped up in these other chambers it gets scooped up like this it goes in here and these are like little tiny pipes like a little like tailpipe you cut sound goes in and mixes around here and uh, how big these chambers are how long they are you can actually cancel out um, certain sound waves uh, it's pretty neat. You kind of tune the muffler that way. All right, and this is basically just a very simple illustration. Now, another type of Flowmaster muffler is the 10 series. The 10 series 
is the loudest basically it gets. It's a single chamber design. Sound goes in, gets split off, all right, and then gets recollected, makes a nice big burbly noise, all right, um, and it just gets sent out the back. All right, pretty cool. Um, some other things you have here are the Outlaw series mufflers. Outlaws are kind of like, I wouldn't really want to say that it's uh, Flowmaster's glass pack. It's like a glass pack without glass packing, really what it is. Um, it's kind of like, you know, you got your, uh, your shell, all right, and um, what happens here is you got a whole bunch of these uh, uh, baffles essentially built into the sidewall, and what will happen is sound goes in, and it gets bounced around, all right, these baffles, and it just constantly, all right, causes sound to be, you know, dissipated, all right, but for the most part, it's pretty much a straight flow design, nothing impeding the air. So it doesn't give you uh, right, too much back pressure. And that's basically a simplistic understanding of how a Flowmaster type muffler works. All right, you know, sound gets separated and recollected, makes a whole different tone. All right, um, the theory is that Flowmasters, you know, are, are going to provide you uh, less back pressure than a conventional style muffler, and that's true. Um, many table testing, you know, of just the CFM of a Flowmaster muffler, you know, cubic feet per minute in airflow shows that they're not the highest flowing muffler designs out there. Straight flow designs are a lot better. But they do supposedly work with certain exhaust pulses, all right, and that's supposed to help in their aid of performance. All right, so uh, the standard bench test really doesn't include any, all right, um, exhaust pulses. So, you know, maybe Flowmaster has some advantages, but overall, um, Flowmasters are bought uh, for the most part for their noise. They make that really, really nice muscle core noise, um, and that's basically why people have them. Now, some people have issues with droning. Uh, they kind of almost work like a pipe organ, Flowmasters, in a sense, and they kind of make this weird resonance inside your cabin. So uh, what you need to do if you have a problem with resonance um, besides, you know, going out and putting a different muffler ahead of the flow master, like a resonator or something like that, or a classic chambered muffler, I'll talk about those in another video. Um, you can supposedly just put two different series of flow masters, all right, uh, one right next to each other, like if you have a dual exhaust, so like a 40 series and a 50 series or something like that should help get rid of some of the resonance. Another interesting thing about flow masters, all right, um, I completely forgot what I was going to say, all right, is yeah, that they're, they're directional mufflers. All right, they're designed to pretty much only be installed in one fashion. You can't kind of reverse a Flowmaster and put it on your car. I mean, people have done it. It usually doesn't work as well, and it's definitely not what it's designed to do. God only knows what type of back pressure you have. All right, but uh, one of the interesting things about Flowmasters is that you can buy them really, really cheap nowadays. Now, you can support the actual Flowmaster company. Of course, they're still in business, but there's uh, many, many different uh, generic Flowmasters you can get under various manufacturers and um, they, they tend to be sold as welded style mufflers because the, to make a flow master you literally need to weld pi uh, pieces of steel rather together all right to make one um, basically every manufacturer under the sun who builds car accessories now has a welded type of a muffler in their lineup and that's basically just a little video there on flow master